What's up, boys? Hockey Snakes Zero here with a uh, update on how to get your sticks. Kind of like mine has like mat finishers and there's sliding stuff. You want them grippier? I'm not gonna. Okay, so it's just how you get slippier. This you it's it's basically it's tape tar, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to apply tape tar and how to kind of basically make tape tar. So what you would need. You, this isn't mandatory, but it's optional. A pair of scissors. Well, you can use black or white. Uh, it depends what kind of color. It's like if you have a bright stick, like an Eastern Mako, you're going to use white tape. Even if you have a dark stick, you can use white tape. White tape works with both. With black tape on the white doesn't work. And uh, you need like a broken stick. Extension really works. It's nice and small. This one's a, it's a, this is a bit big, but it works, so I'm going to use it. So this is how you do it. You take tape and your broken shaft. Don't use blades, use a small shaft. You can just get a shaft and cut it down. If you, you can really just do it really easily. Yeah, so first... You want to start it just like that, so like starting to wrap around the sticky side, the sticky side up, and let me just do this really quickly, just so I can get it. Okay, there you go. It's not the best, but you want to eventually get it into like a full circle. And see how it's like it stays on there, and I like to go around it twice if I haven't done it that well. And then you just go down, down, and go around and stuff. So like this, you just keep them going around. I don't make mine that big. Some people make it like down to here. It's just plenty for me, and I'm gonna move it up now. A lot up. Eventually, it like it's really easy to do this. <laughs> Just keep on sticking and sticking, sticking and sticking, sticking, and sticking. You don't even need to do this much. I just did a lot there. So like, whoa, close. And then this is where you need the scissors, like right here, you just cut it. But you can just, I just make a little neck, like that, like a little notch. And you just rip it down. There you go, and you just close the deal. So there, it's basically like a handle. Make a handle, basically, but to tape the other side. That's the easiest way to explain it. Then you take your stick, so... I just got started on this one. Doing this to my, uh, I'm going to do it to my Apex, dude. AQ50. You can put it along the shaft anywhere where it is not tape really. Like, don't put it on tape. There's no point. Trust me, it's not smart at all. It's be wasting stuff and. I put it like right here because I don't my tape my blade is not exactly for the blade, so I put it like from here to like there. Same thing on the other side. And uh I did it on my old D K fifty. And I had it on my the tape tar on my old D K fifty and I rubbed it all off. I spray painted it. So there's no tape tar there. Very nice here. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it really simply. Just take your tape tar and you just rub it and so it's really hard to do it like this but I'll just do it quickly you can't really see it because it's underneath my desk so, okay. you just basically rub it you don't scrape it so you just rub it it's a lot. you can put on as much as you want I choose to put on a lot
And if you want black, black looks fine too, but of course it's going to show it's white. Now the song's picking that play. Tick tock. Okay, so. There it's complete. You can see this stuff there looks like goo from tape. Basically is. And now it's sticky there. Tape tar. A lot of pros do this, but then you kids can't see it. You can see it because it's white. And it, yeah, it's real nice. Again, just that. That's all it is. Their stickiness. Done. And you just want to rub it like this. You don't want to rub it. So, here, I'm trying to change it with two hands. You want to go like this. You want to take one of the corners, basically, and just go like this. And if you don't have a shirt, oh no, never mind. So just again, rub up there, there. Okay, so yeah, this is my little tape card tool. It's nifty. If you like that word tape tar. Now, yeah, so basically that's how it is. Run over again. I'm not going to do this one because this has like sandpaper. I need to make it dirty. But just to show you, I'll put some tape tar on this shaft. This is the CCMB Plus Pro. The grip here. This works on grip sticks too, but Honestly, don't care about this shaft. I'm making it real grippy. Just basically rub it. I'm showing you guys what it is on a shaft, how it looks on a shaft and stuff. Oh, it changed sides. By the way, if you're wondering, it gets really grippy. Let me do this so you guys. Sorry for the video, it's so long. I didn't decide. Finally. Oh, so yeah, there you can see there's a lot of tape tar there. Oh, this thing is wicked because it has grip and tape tar. So like here, smooth. Let's get this sticky on. It looks kind of weird, but I like it. Oh. It's hard to do on spray paint, by the way. So only do on the stick part. Okay, so just finish that up. I can stick to the wall, basically. So here it is, finished product of the tape tar Gancy Demi Pro. Here's the tape tar, as you can see here. All that right here, here, that white, all that stickiness. It's awesome though. And yeah, so, and you, you can't really feel the grip anymore because it's now taped off. Up here, you can though. So yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe.